interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Coming up on ESPN, with the lessons learned from his rookie season tucked safely away in his back pocket, young Byron Leftwich hopes to have his club pointed towards a playoff berth. Indianapolis Colts, Denver Broncos. This ought to be good. The fans are finding their way to their seats, uh, those who really own those seats, as we get set to begin this exciting game. in the booth, my longtime associate, Peter O'Keefe. Peter, this game has got a playoff atmosphere with a chance at the number one spot in the division at stake. Well, the pressure's on, Dean, you better believe it. It's a pure number one in the division with a win. And with these kind of matchups, it all comes down to rhythm. Whatever team can establish an offensive and defensive rhythm earliest will come away with the win. And now let's go down to the coin toss. Here we are in our last home game and our last game of the regular season going up against the Colts. And obviously you got Matt Hassel back over there for the Colts and uh, McAllister, it looks like. And it looks like they're going to receive as well. Um, so here we are. We're about to uh, face off in our last game before the playoffs. And it looks like we should be making it to the playoffs. Um, so I'm excited about that. You know, coming off of this. Uh, last game where it was 10 to 7 really close i'm hoping that we can establish a better identity for ourselves and uh you know just really get into a good momentum because man what a season it has been so thank you guys so much for your support for this video this series thank you and uh let's go let's go let's end on a good note see if we can get it ah oh <laughs> <laughs> at least he got it to the 19 right you know we got wrecked there we got wrecked there all right let's see what we can do here westbrook Ooh, this is gonna be a really good team really good team all right we're gonna try a little bit of linebacker here i'm trying to you know get better every game i'm taking all of your guys's feedback and applying it as much as i can each and every video so thank you so much to you guys leaving those comments every video I appreciate you thank you all right get some okay somebody somebody ah there we go I think Carol I, I'm pretty sure it was last game if not correct me but Carol had a really good game for a rookie rookie corner a position that we've struggled but you know trading early in the series for Will Allen um, having our good linebacker core to back him up has been helpful, to say the least. Okay. Okay, let's see. I'm going to go I'm gonna go with Jones. Do some stuff, guys. Okay. Oh, oh. Ooh, how did... How did they get open? How did he get open? Nah, Hasselbeck's pretty good at this point. For I didn't know he went to Boston College. Ah, interesting. You learn something every day. All right. More than likely going to be a run here. We're going to try to make the proper adjustments. Okay. Okay. I'm so used to jumping off of the uh, snap there on the D-line. And I'm pressing the wrong button once the ball is hiked. So let's see if we can uh, fix that. LeVar Arrington, one of our better players on a defense. Ooh, we're going to have to roll with it here. Okay, he went backwards. It seems like Stallworth is going to be the go-to guy for Matt Hasselbeck. All right. Let's see. We're going to cover Brian Leftwich. Third and six. Going into motion. Okay, okay. <gasps> Whoa! And that's a touchdown. That's a touchdown right over his head. 
Wow. He tried to go for the play, but 80 just, he took it, man. He took it. He took it and ran with it. Big play there. We've done really well this season to not give those up, but man, what a perfect drawn up play there. Play action. Dumps it off to 80 for the touchdown. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. We will have to fix that. <laughs> I don't think that's my fault, but could be. Could be. Ooh, that was a little risky on that PAT. Almost seemed like he didn't get it, but six plays, 81 yards. Two minute drive there. Let's get out there and start off pretty fast on offense, hopefully. Let's see what we can do. Okay, not the greatest kick. Maybe be able to do something here. Okay. Ooh. 25. Not bad. All right, all right, all right. I think we can make a play here. Man, they keep putting White out here. You know what? Let's see what see what happens here. A little audible. A little bit of audible. Okay. Look at that. We can make big plays too. We can make big plays too. Nice audible there. 11. Our starting tight end gets open. Let's go. Get comfortable. Nice. Nice. And and way to miss this tackle right there. Boom. Could have probably. Nah, he's, he's not fast enough. But 31 yards, I'll take it. All right, unfortunately, I didn't do this ahead of time. So remind me to do this. <laughs> Every video. I'm sure White's good, man. But we've, we've done all right with 34 here. So let's see. All right. I think they're reading a pass here. We're going to go to weak dive here. We're going to run with uh, Jones, Gray Jones, the rookie. And nothing there, man. Nothing there. That line pinched in. Um, so that didn't work. <laughs> that did not work at all. Okay, that's okay, though. That's okay. All right, let's see. Four man front here. Four three. Chambers is open. Ah, dumping and off for nothing. That was not the type of play I was hoping to pull right there. All right, all right. They know it's a pass here. But can we find the open man? Okay, okay. Oh, man, I tried to dump it off, and he just snatched it, man. He just grabbed it out of the air. Ah, oh, man, there was a couple of people open. Why did I... Uh, he was just, he was eyeing us down. All right, we're not off to a really good start here. So let me tighten up. There we go. There we go. Good job, Jones. We gotta stop this uh, running attack, man. Mm -hmm. Second and eight, shotgun. Shotgun. I'm set. Bring the line back. Bring the line back. Ooh, somebody. Somebody make that tackle. Bro, Brian Westbrook is 5'8". And he played at Villanova. I did not know either of that. All right, all right. Shift these guys out. Oh, man, what am I doing? What am I doing? Hey, hey, almost making the interception. Good job, 2-7. And we forced the three and out off of the interception. So thankfully, it doesn't come back to bite us in the ass. We are able to uh, get back out there and keep it a one-score game for the Colts. Let's see. Let's see. Do we, Man, we haven't done anything on special teams. Thank you guys for the suggestions. Uh, we will definitely look for that in the uh, free agency. All right, so let's see if we can find Lloyd here. Maybe even Chambers. Depends on what that safety does. Okay, okay. 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh, what a. Come on. You come back out here and throw a pick like that? Jeez. Sims laid down the hammer, but damn, man. Come on, seven. That's not technically his fault. What? It just bounces off of his hands. Look, that's just 84, not. Ooh, and he got hit afterwards. Uh, we're, we are not playing good at all right now. So that's just a good defensive play, I guess. Whatever. Got to move on. Actually, keep that. All right. Okay. All right. There we go. There we go. Hey, our defense is answering the call, though. I like it. Tackle for a loss there. Try to set these guys up for, uh, you know, success. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay, I don't know. Hey, there. Oh, somebody. Ooh, that was in your face, man. But we get the deflection third and 15. Man, I hope we can fix our offense, man. All right, Brooklyn. Let's go. This is definitely going to be a pass. going to be a pass. Okay. Let's see if I can throw him off. Come in. And then bounce out, maybe. Hey, there you go. Good job, Brown. Three and out. They might get the three points here. You yeah. know. Special teams might make a play. Who knows? I know people were like, why don't you go to the outside guy? Ah, oh, nice. Okay. 10 to 0. I kind of thought it was going to the left there, and then it just curves in to the right. Okay. 10 to nothing. Could be worse. Two interceptions in the uh, first quarter. Could be a lot worse. Right? So defense is kind of bailing us out. Hey, there you go. There you go. Good return there. Good blocking. So, do we throw the ball? How do we get Leftwich to get in rhythm? How how does he get his confidence back? Hey, there we go. I'll take it. I'll take it. I will take it. We got to start slow. Get to the running game. Hmm. Hopefully, we can get outside here. 34 is not as fast as LT, but... Oh, there we go. Mm, could have been a lot better. Some good blocking. And I didn't read that right. And you know what? We're going to do strong fullback dive here. You know? Third and short. Richie. Should be able to get this. There you go. There you go. There you go. Run the no huddle after converting that. And that's going to be it for the first. And we're down 10 nothing after a very slow start. But I feel like we have an opportunity to turn it around right now. A lot of football left. So stick around. Go ahead and like the video and do all that cool stuff if you feel like it. <laughs> you don't get commercial breaks, but you get a little, little ad breaks. A little, little promo. A little self-promo, okay? All right. Strong toss. Keep it in to the run game. Until we get ourselves going, maybe we can. Mm. Man, I wish there, I wish there was a better audible. Okay. Hey, there you go. Looking for the blocking. You know, wear down this uh, Colts defense a little bit. Open up the uh, PA, hopefully. You know, Greg's not been that bad. I mean, he's obviously like a 69 overall, but come on. In this game, that's that's different. You know, that's not that bad. I know in other games, you're like, what the hell? Oh, no. Come on. You got to get that, though. I got to, like, run in a very straight direction. All right. We're going to do another dive here. All right. Call me boring. Call me basic. Hey, if it's working. It's in the playbook, right? All right, there we go. And yet again, we're going to go. But this time we can actually do something. Strong ISO. They're expecting the run. 
All right, we're gonna let it go. I just wanted to run a play, see what happens, what lined up, but the formation didn't really provide us with a lot of cool um, audibles. So, you know, stuck with that. Hmm, okay, okay. We might be able to find Lloyd here. I think they gotta be expecting the pass, right? At some point, at some point. Hey, there you go. There you go, Lloyd. There you go, Lloyd. Oh, almost there, but we get first and goal. There we go. I don't know if the PA helped. But there we go. That's the kind of play we needed. You know, we've had some big plays. We had that one to Winslow earlier, and then right here, another PA. I love the throwing animation with these quarterbacks. Like, when they're on the run, kind of, like, take time to, to appreciate that. But 48 yards off of Brandon Lloyd and his... Uh, and his good catch there. Three thousand yards. Okay, we get better. Oh man, dude, they had us. They had us. Nobody was open, and they had. They sent. They sent the boss of Bailey. Look at that. I don't know. Thirty-four was supposed to be blocking him. Something happened there. That didn't work. Second and goal. Mm, this defense is interesting. Ah, uh, nice broken tackle there. It's not going to be enough. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see if this works out. It's going to be a rollout here. Looking for Lloyd. All right, little blitz is coming. Okay, okay. Oh, Chambers, look at that. Wow, he caught that through the tightest window, bro. We were about to get sacked. And we give it a 284. Way to score right there, man. Look at this. That could have been easily intercepted or deflected. But it doesn't happen. All right, so we cut into this Colts lead. Hopefully we can cut it down to three with uh, three minutes left in the second quarter. I'm gonna get this PAT first though. Max, we should be fine. There we go. Seven to 10 now. 11 plays, 74 yards, four minute drive, 84 catches a touchdown in the end zone thrown by Brian. I'm Brian Lefwich. And you know what? I'm happy. I'm happy. You know, when your quarterback throws two interceptions in the first half, um, you know, we can be easily just force the run there, right? Get Greg into the end zone, Richie maybe. But uh, the fact that we were able to, you know, give our quarterback an opportunity to, like, make up for those interceptions, even though technically that second one wasn't his fault. But look at us. Look at us. We're in the playoffs, guys. We're a division leader, okay? We're not even in the wild card. I mean, there's been moments in this season where I was like, we are not going to make it, but we are here. So let's go. Make the most out of it. All right. I'm actually going to go to the line here just for this one. And there you go, Gardner, number 30. Yeah, good play there. Good play. So, yeah, I mean, look, when I saw that Matt Hasselback was playing for the Colts in this one, I knew he was going to score. I knew he was going to find an open man, and he's got some good receivers. I mean, look, Stallworth, Driver, even Westbrook can catch it out of the backfield. So, you know, not too surprised by that one. Oh, what? Somebody. That ball seemed like it floated in air like it was a balloon. Can't, I can't even tell you if I remember when Reebok was part of the NFL. I'm so used to like Nike now, which I, I do like a lot of the uniforms by Nike, but man, this was a, a you know, that just kind of shows you the age of this game when Reebok was making the, the uniforms here. Oh man, oh man. There we go. Stop them. Three now. Let's go. Defense is doing their thing, man. See if it'll be enough. So it's gonna go to the two-minute warning. 
Oh, wow. So they get off the punt. Wow. I wasn't sure if they would. Okay, there we go. Get something. Get something. 23 got to the 33. All right. So it should go to the two-minute warning. I was about to say. Okay. Two-minute warning. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So what do we want to do here? You know, if it isn't broke, don't break it. Don't fix it. Don't do anything. Just if it's, if it's working, it's working, right? So the running game, PA. I know we don't, we don't get a lot of time. Oh, man. I should have been able to break that. I should have been able to break that. And maybe it is a little broken. That's okay. Ooh, all right. All right. Oh, they backed up. Oh my gosh, man! That that linebacker just plays that so well, makes it so difficult. That's fine. That's fine. Third and twelve. Probably should have ran it here. Just feel like they're gonna they're gonna do their thing anyways. Okay. Okay. Oh, you know what? I ain't mad at that, man. I ain't mad at that, but too bad we couldn't do anything with that. Too bad. Oh, well. Let's get a good punt here. Play defense. We get the ball to start the second half. Matt Hasselback. Oh, go to the bench, man. All right. All right. All right. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know if they're going to do a, a draw here. I'm going to play as 57 here. Oh, oh, come on. You had your hands on it, 33. Literally looked like he was about to take that. Man, come on, man. Got to get it. I wish we had more of like a, uh, I don't know, like uh, safeties that were a lot more deadlier in that part of the field when it came to like the passing game you know eh, it's not like he's doing bad Matt Hasselback's not doing bad just looking at those stats they just showed okay 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 what do you want what do you want look at that nothing Nothing, and we get the ball back. Three and out with 45 seconds. So they get out there and they just don't do anything. Now, with this punt, mm, we're not going to force anything. Already thrown two interceptions. So we just got to play our cards right here. Oh, I was hoping we at least get to the 20. Okay. All right, what do I want to do here? What do I want to do here? All right, we're on the 18, 35 seconds. Oh, he had it. Winslow had it. Tried to hit him with that PA again. Oh, he had that. I'm trying to find. Ooh, they know about it now. They know about it now. Okay, okay. Why are you not catching it, Lloyd? Bro, you could have gone. You could have dipped out. Man, are we going to give them the ball back? They'll just call a timeout at this point. Okay. Okay, there you go. Call a timeout. Yeah, I'm like, okay, you know, I almost thought about not running that play. I'm like, man, they're just gonna, they're gonna just, or I mean, I thought about just running it to kill some clock, but they're, hey man, they were just gonna do it. They were just gonna call a timeout. So now it's like, what do you trust? <gasps> Lloyd! Lloyd! No! Come on, come on, Lloyd. Ah, oh, dude, I gotta tap. I gotta go crazy on that. I gotta go crazy on that. Man. 
There you go. Two big plays by 85. When he does catch it, man. Oh, my God. Damn it. We're just going to have to tie it up. We'll just tie it up. I tried to scramble it in there. Yeah, just kick the field goal. Hey, we're even lucky to get this. It should have been a touchdown. <laughs> I admit. But, hey, we get the ball back here. We should be fine here. We should be good. And we are. There we go. 10-10. Three seconds left. Six plays. 75 yards in just under a minute. We get points on the board. And we tie it up. Man, Lloyd, you should have had it. Like, I, ah, that's going to that's gonna eat me up. So we're going to see if we can just get them to uh, return it and wrap up this half. And get to halftime. Ooh, and we do. So, hey, halftime. I'm going to stretch. I'm going to think about what we got to do better. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. Hope you're enjoying it. Enjoy the halftime show. I'll see you guys in the third quarter. All right, kids. Interesting game at the half. We'll get back to you guys in a bit. First, we welcome everybody to our ESPN Halftime Report. I'm Chris Berman. A look at our halftime stats here, and boy, look at the difference in passing yards. The Broncos should be way ahead on the scoreboard. But somehow, they've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Donald Duke and the driver came up with a huge play here as they cover a lot of real estate on this one. A 64-yard touchdown for the Colts. The Colts get the first points of the game and go up by seven. The Bronx, midway through the first, the Broncos with possession at the 46-yard line. Adelius Thomas is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. The Bronx, towards the end of the first quarter, Bronx behind by seven. Pearson Prelo would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. The Colts have it off an interception. Todd Peterson is summoned for the field goal attempt. Good snap, good spot, good kick. Three goods equals three points. A 40-yard field goal. Colts leading 10 to nothing. Brandon Lloyd emerged as a real weapon as he pulled one in here. A 48-yard play that set up a Bronco touchdown. The Broncos climb back into the game, now down by three. The Bronx coming up on the end of the half. Ball at their own 30. Brandon Lloyd was definitely a key as he was able to work his way open for a big one here. That set up a short 25-yard field goal. And that's where we'll leave this one. Bronx are keeping it evened up. We're tied 10 all. It's time now for our Halftime Hero Award, which recognizes the most dominant player of the first half. Duh. This time, there could be no question. Donald Duke and the driver has played outstanding. And now let's return to the second half with Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Thanks, Chris. And today's game has been presented in ESPN Game Sound, designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Broncos get the ball first to start the second. All right, here we go. We get the ball back. Tie ball game. We had a terrible first quarter, but we were able to rally there in the second. So we just got to play better. Overall, defense did a lot there to keep us into this game. So we just got to we gotta definitely not just spin and get to the 17. But I still think that, you know, we have a lot here. A lot of football, a lot of improving. And I think we can, you know, put something together. There you go. Jones like that. There you go. Seven yard run. I like it. Well, obviously, the run game is going to be important here. Yet, we still called more passing plays. Huh. That's a first down, right? What? Wow. Okay, let's do um, split, split pro. And we're going to do... 
Strong fullback toss. All right, all right. We should be able to get. We should be able to get this. Thirty-one. Hey, that's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. Hurry up. 90Z slam. Chambers or Jones. Hey, there you go. There you go. There you go. First down. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Audible. Weak stretch. Weak stretch. Hey, whatever. Six yards. I'm over there trying to make the right calls here in this one. See if we're improving. I think this is a good pace here. Ooh, Winslow's a little tired here. Okay. Oh, I should have dove for it, man. I should have slid. I should have done something. All right, what can we do here? I think the weak zone bounce. I think third and short, you got to go to your running game. You got to trust that. Let's see if they adjust. Motion, Winslow. Get some extra blocking here. Hey, there you go. Dang. It's hard, man. I kind of want to play him like a power back. So I'm more focused on like, you know, lining him up to make a play with a stiff arm. Uh, trucking. Let's go. All right. Good drive here. Good drive. Good drive. Let's keep it going. Keep it going. First and 10. Tied ball game. Mm. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Let's go. Perfect. Over the middle. 85. Lloyd having himself a day. Two touchdowns for seven now. Let's go. Giving the fans of Denver high fives. Look at that. PA. Nice. Over the heads of that Colts defense. One missed tackle. Two missed tackles. And guess what? It's all for six points. Let's go. Look at this man. Three receptions, 153 yards, and a touchdown. Let's go. Oh, look there. 150 plus receiving yards. He's been making plays all game long. All game long. Love the commentating in this game. I don't think I could ever play this game without it. I know I'm talking over these talented gentlemen. So I encourage you, if you have never played this game, to play it. Enjoy it. It's so immersive. And that's why we're having such a good time with this franchise. This feels like NFL football. Okay. Let's go. 17-10. Ooh, why I? <laughs> Dudley. Dudley, do right. Come on, man. Touchdown, punt, deal goal, punt, punt, time expired. Let's go, man. We turned it on. They made that one touchdown on their first possession. And ever since then, we've been doing our thing. All right. Might have jinxed us. That's okay. 17-10, third quarter. Let's go. Hey, there we go. Clog it up. Even if you don't get on the ball carrier, you're making an impact on that field. You know, you're changing it. A lot of men might notice you coming in one gap and they have to adjust. They have to block you. They have to pick you up. It all changes. So maybe you, you don't make the play, but you're, you're, you're making it possible for your teammates to make a play. We're going to bring it in here. Oh, ooh, we would have just kept going back. Maybe get an interception. That was a bad throw. Third and eight. All right, this one. This one's big. All right, all right, all right. All right. Ooh, where was that going? Okay, so I think more than anything, their offense just didn't come out here that drive. Uh, our, our defense was just out there. We didn't really do anything spectacular. 
Matt Hasselback just didn't connect. So, hey, not complaining. Just making an observation. I think our defense is making plays still. Oh, there we go. That's probably one of our best punt returns, sadly, uh, of this series. So, if this is your first video somehow, uh, don't expect anything from the special teams from the uh, previous videos, okay? Ain't, ain't there. Mm, maybe. Maybe. Hey, look at that. Loy with his fourth catch? Fourth catch? Look at that. Look at that. He, does he get over 200 this game? I don't know. It's almost... It's close. We're just going to do this. We'll cut back run. I don't usually do these. I don't really like them. Ah, uh, but I see I see what they want you to do there. I just got caught up. All right. Third and three. I mean, we're going to just try to run it here. All right. Power football right here. And that's what we wanted. Good blocking by this offensive line here by the Broncos. Let's go. Keep it up. Keep it up. Let's see if we can. Yeah, see, they got to. They, they, they have to respect the run. They got to respect the run. Hmm. Yep. All right. I'm actually looking for. Hmm. Yeah, I was going to. Oh, kind of had to dump it down. Didn't have to. I'm sure there was other people open, but sometimes when my first like go to is gone, I'm like, oof, I'm good. I don't want to risk it because I'm not really even in timing. There's so much timing to this game. All right, what are they doing? Kind of moved to the inside there. Okay. There we go. Winslow. Nice first down catch. Man, when we got time and our uh, players can get open, man, deadly. Look at that little PA. They got to respect it. Just kind of wait, wait. Big throws here now. That's what I want. Ooh, let's go, Leftwich. After throwing two interceptions. Let's see if there's okay. Eighty-five. You gotta block that man. That's your guy. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right, all right. Man, think a man right here. Think a man right here. Oh, Winslow, bro. That's you. That's you. How did he not reel that in? Some of these other ones he reeled in were a lot harder than that. Trying to think of what I kind of what I want to go with here. Let's try this. All right, we're going to be rolling out. It's not play action or anything. I think they're playing it pretty nice, so... It really depends on a couple of players. Oh, pass... Yeah, pass inter... Uh, <laughs> pass interference. Let's go. Let's go. First and ten. Let's go. Same first and goal. Nice. Some aggressive coverage. That wasn't that wasn't my plan, guys. But I, I, I think we got we got away with one. <laughs> we got away with one. Oh, oh well. Eh, not really doing anything there, but we're gonna go into the fourth quarter, up by seven, and hopefully about to be up by two scores in a few plays so let's go stick it out till the end folks never know what could happen mm. all right second and nine we're in the sunlight here in denver 
Let's see what that safety does. Really? Please hit him. I tried to loft it up. McAllister's gonna make plays, man. Three interceptions. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Seven. That's on me, dude. Mm, somebody else was open, too. Look how open 85 was. Golly. Uh, that's, that's unfortunate. Hey, like I said, <laughs> anything can happen. Let's see if our defense can hold through, hold through, hold through, hold through. Hey, somebody touch him. Jeesh. All right, now now you're going to see that aggressive play calling here by Indianapolis. Ooh, they get the first. That's a good play call. I'm expecting pass a lot of this drive, but you never know. You never know. You never know. There we go. Try to bring that blitz a little bit. Look at 33. Dang, 33 all the way back there. Yeah, we're doing good against this run here. I, I was really sure that Westbrook was going to give us a lot of issues. and Luckily, not the case so far. Okay, third and eight. We can still get a three and out. Four wide receivers. All right, let's go. There we go, Carol. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. The rook coming through. Coming through. Yeah, interceptions. That's what I'm talking about, man. Killed their drive. Look at that. Could have been something. Uh, I feel like he didn't want to go there, but he ended up just kind of forcing it. And hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. So look at this. We get good field position. And uh, our defense pays them back. They redeem Leftwich after he throws the pick. So we're just trying to get yard. We're trying to kill the clock a little bit. You know, if we play this smart, we can definitely win this game, but, you know, got to do uh, better play calling here. They're, they're respecting the pass, so look at that. Jeez. Hey, positive yards. Third and four. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Yeah, I think passing would be smart. And uh, unfortunately, they kind of know what we want to do here. So let's see. We got all those uh, safeties, and everybody's playing back. Okay, okay. Oh, dude, he was open. He's open. All right, guys. Call of the game. Call of the game. Call of the game. We're going forward on fourth down here. Under four minutes left. Only up by a score. Okay. Okay. Oh, why? I, uh, I threw it like in the worst way possible. Look at that. Look at that, man. Just a terrible, terrible throw. Uh, yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Yo, ooh, Carol. Carol almost got another one, guys. 28. Ugh. Yeah, I'm beating myself up a little bit about that fourth, uh, going forward on fourth there, but man. Hey, last game of the season. You know, we got we gotta make these we gotta make these calls. You gotta be confident. I trusted our offense. Hey, we just didn't get it done. Nothing, nothing. Let's go. Good defense there. I thought they were gonna give pass interference, but we got away with one. I think we kind of bumped them. All right, all right. 
All right, all right, playing a little bit more inside. Oh, steals one, man. He just nice. Ah, oh, nicely played set ball. All right, driver. You gotta stop driver. Uh, I was hoping he was trying to give it to uh, 19 there. So driver is basically doing for them what Lloyd has done for us. We gotta, we gotta get better. Okay, okay, good, good, good. I'm not worried about the run. I'm not worried about it. You know, to be honest, I'm more worried about Westbrook in the passing game at this point. Okay, okay. Hey, look at that. Make a play. There you go, Carol. There we go. And Will Allen, 27. I, hey, look. And who, who, who did we just tackle? All right, all right. Just gonna go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. No way! Yo, Carol, I thought for sure just got that interception. That's fourth and six. And they're gonna punt it. They're gonna punt it. Two minutes left, and they're gonna punt it. I thought they were in field goal range. I guess not. Oh, what a good punt. I'm gonna try to see if this will go out of out of bounds or into the back of the end zone, and it does. Let's go. All right, we get it at the 20. All right, 34. This is where you get your money, man. This is when you get to shine and prove all the haters on ESPN, Fox Sports, all that stuff about how you know, hey, the Denver Broncos aren't gonna do anything because they lost their number one running back. Hey, just get it done here. Exactly what I'm asking for. Nothing more. Really nothing fancy here. Hold on to the football. Get us some first downs. Can you do that? They should be ready for the run, but they're playing a little. Look at that. Mm, that's interesting. What else we got here? Gonna keep it. Gonna keep it. Second and six. Hey, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. First down. Now, the Colts have to start using those timeouts. Let's go. We're just going to keep running the football. They're blitzing. Sure, we could do something. But it's all about the clock. It's all about the clock. And look at that. They still, maybe it was a fake. They lined up like they were. They got a rush. They got to get up. All right. This is... And look at Jones's stamina, dude. It's pretty impressive, to be honest. Second and six. It should be their last time out. Hey, there we go. There we go. Third and one. That's fine. That's their final timeout, guys. Uh, I think we get this first down. We win the game. QB sneak. Leftwich. It's time. It's time. Make a play here. Look at that. He jumps. He tries to dive. He gets hit, but he got the first down. There you go. There you go. There you go. That should be it. That's it. That's the game. 17 to 10 looks like it's going to be our final score. You know, we got the playoffs. We're trying to get there healthy. You know, as much as I love playing this game, I'm not going to risk any of our players right now. <laughs> nope. Maybe if we were like, you know, done for, this was the last game of the series, but it's not. The journey doesn't end here in Denver facing the Colts. We're going to be going to the playoffs, so please, please support us. We're going to take the delay of the game. Delay of the game. That's exactly what I said. Yes. Whatever. Whatever. Let's go. Take a knee. Let's go ahead and get up there. Let's focus on that. All right. All right. So probably got to run one more play. That's fine. Um, but, man, what a season. Regular. Like a regular season. We went through some droughts. We went through some, you know, changes. Uh, a playbook. Uh, positions. You know, new quarterback. 
you know, we brought seven in, you know, so from the start of this series to where we are now in this video, I think we've improved a lot. You know, I think the personnel was always there to a certain degree. It was about how to utilize them. You know, we still got a lot to improve and I'm, uh, nothing's promised. The playoffs is, uh, you, you have a bad game. Well, that's it. <laughs> there is no next week. So, you know, um, I think we're relatively healthy for the team that we have right now. Um, and the fact that we are um, not going to be without multiple starters and, and, and playmakers. Yeah, sure. We're out LT, but we're going to be all right. You know, people are going to step up. This is a team sport. And that's what we're going to focus on. So, hey, please support us in the playoffs. Enjoy the post game show at Sports Center. And uh, subscribe for more. We're, we're not done yet. The playoffs, baby. We're going to the playoffs. Year one of this fantasy drafted franchise here on ASPN NFL 2K5. Enjoy the post game show. Thank you, guys. Peace. All right, Jay. Great work as always. And with that, we welcome everybody back to the ESPN studios for our ESPN video games post game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Broncos stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. We'll pick up the action midway through the third quarter. Brandon Lloyd came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. A 43-yard touchdown for the Broncos. The ball at the 10-yard line. Chris Billy Joe McAllister shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. The Colts, after getting an interception, Colts losing by seven. Ahmad Carroll was in the right place at the right time, as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. The Colts again have it. Matt Hasselbeck would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. And that's where we'll leave this one. Bronx edge out a win, 17 to 10. Now let's check in with our player of the game, a guy who made one big time catch after another to help seal the win for his team. Brandon Lloyd is down on the field with Susie Calvert. Suze? Thank you, Chris. You excelled under pressure today, and you edged them out in a hard-fought game. What gave you guys the edge today? Well, as you know, our defense played great. They were getting after the ball and hustling all game long. We just got fired up from watching them play. It was a nice effort all around. Back to you, Chris. Well, that just about does it. Thanks so much for joining us. Hi there, I'm Chris Berman. We got a lot of games to cover, so let's get to it. In our first game this week, we had the Bengals win by a comfortable margin. The Patriots won this contest, but will stay at the third place in the AFC East. We had a big injury in this one, and Trey has the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Boomer, thanks. In front of you, we've got the AFC Infirmary Report. And as you can see, they were hit hard this week. Marcus Pollard is probably the one that most leaps out at you. It's reported that he's broken his hip, and if that's the case, he'll be out for the rest of the regular season. In front of you, we've got the NFC list, and as you can see, they could form their own mash unit. Brenson Buckner sticks out on this list as one of the more costly injuries. X-rays after the game revealed it is indeed a broken leg, so he'll likely be out for the rest of the season. Now, on to even bigger news, as you may have already heard. Damian Robinson is done for the year as he's been placed on injured reserve, and as the quarterback of the defense, his loss will certainly be felt. So that'll do it for now. Chris, let's send it back to you. In a long-standing AFC rivalry, we had the Chargers win their ninth game of the year. Reggie Wayne stepped it up this week and gave his team some added firepower for the win. Jeremy Shockey pulled down 100-plus receiving yards and helped his Rams beat the Jets. Steelers, Bills. Rudy Johnson is always a threat. They're at the one-yard line, and... <laughs> Touchdown. The Steelers go on to win this by the final score of 24-7. to Down in the Lone Star State in Houston, we had the Texans come away with a seven-point win. Over in the stadium... We had the Panthers come away with a seven-point win. The Broncos got 300-plus yards from their offense in their victory at Invesco Field at Mile High. 
the Cowboys lost their last game of the season on the road. The Ravens won this contest, but will stay at the second place in the AFC North. Lions, Titans. Dante Culpepper surveys the defense at the 25. Extra receiver is split out. That's the tight end. Even though he's got double coverage, head to the corner, touchdown. What a throw. The Titans win this one by the final score of 22 to 9. Brett Favre had another good performance in the win and showed us why he's ranked up at the top of the league. In a long-standing NFC rivalry, we had the Bears win their 10th game of the season. Mo Williams was responsible for over 150 yards rushing and helped his Redskins beat the Vikings. And in our final game, we had the Cardinals come away victorious. All right, Chris, thanks. All right, folks, our playoff picture has now been officially finalized. So let's take a look at it now, shall we? We'll begin with a look at the AFC. And now checking things out over in the NFC playoff race. So there you have it, the regular season now in the books. Time to see which of these 12 teams will emerge as Super Bowl champs. We'll get it started for you on ESPN next weekend. So that'll do it from here. Boomer, we send it back over to you. And then there were 12, the playoffs, right around the corner, which means it's time for our regular season awards. But first, my primetime players. The final round of game balls go to these Warriors, each with a standout performance in the final game of the regular season. All right, as promised, here's a look at this year's best of the best, our season-ending NFL award. Donovan McNabb, without a doubt, is going to take home the hardware in this one. You see the numbers on your screen, but numbers really don't tell the whole story. Leadership, work ethic, love of the game, that's what truly makes him stand out. He had, without question, the best year of anyone. Mark Bolger has got to be our choice for Offensive Player of the Year, and you've got to be hard-pressed to find better numbers than that. Obviously, give a lot of credit to the rest of the offense, but this is the guy that was driving the car, so to speak. Lawyers in love, Malloy gets the nod as our Defensive Player of the Year, and I'll tell you what, there was no one better at taking quarterbacks and receivers alike completely out of their game. Great season. Eli Manning comes away with the Offensive Rookie of the Year award. You know, it's very difficult to come straight from college to be handed the keys to an NFL offense, but he stepped in and did a bang-up job. Watch out. He's only going to get better with age. D.J. Williams was our Defensive Rookie of the Year. Hard to think of any young linebacker with better instincts for the football than he has. He wins it in a landslide. Ricky Williams ran away with the rushing title this year. Talk about a threat out of the backfield, my friends. Finesse, speed, a surprising amount of power, which he used to bowl over the few who actually managed to lay a finger on him. What a year. That'll do it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol studios. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. So I thought I'd take time to go over some statistics, right, before going into the playoffs because I, as you just saw, they gave out the MVP and all those end of the year awards and all that cool stuff. So I, I forgot all about that. So I was watching. I'm like, oh, man, maybe we should go over, you know, our stats. So you're not going to see a lot of us uh, here on this uh, on this board. But, um, you know, still, it's, it's something to look into. So we got our team stats here. I'm trying to see where we are. Okay, Broncos. So here we are as a team. You know, I think we did all right for the most part. I think, honestly, there's some categories we probably just excelled in. But it's not as organized as I would like. So I think we're just going to go ahead and check out the player stats, right? Let's go ahead and get into the player stats. So this is more specific. But if you guys want those other details, let me know. So here's something that I thought we should go over because I was just watching Sports Center, just like you, and I saw where they were giving out the MVP and Offensive Rookie Award and all those awards. And I'm like, oh, snap. I forgot all about that. So hopefully you stuck it out to the end of this video because now you're in for a special treat for you guys that like the stats and the details. Here we are. We're going to go over our stats for the regular season. And maybe you guys can let me know in the comments section below um, what are some things that we need to look for and, and improve and what were some things that you're surprised by or really like. So we brought in Leftwich, right? He was a 79.2 rating for a QB. 
Uh, here's his uh, completions and attempts. 57%, over 3,000 yards, 22 touchdowns, 18 interceptions. Now, you know, obviously that's me. But I still think he did good. So I, I don't really have any plans on moving on to another quarterback right now. But you guys let me know. Um, let's go ahead and look at Russian. So LT, before he was hurt, was doing pretty good. We started to get it going. Obviously, his average yards after first hit weren't that great. But, you know, 4.4 average yards, over 1,000. Um, he had a 98-yard <laughs> touchdown, 10 touchdowns, 63 broken tackles, three fumbles. And two of them were lost. So that's not the greatest. But right after that, then you got Greg who came in and did pretty good. I think he was able to get it done for the most part. Didn't get a lot of touchdowns. Um, had a lot of broken tackles. No fumbles. And that's really impressive too. So good on him. Um, so rushing, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. I don't know what we should do with LT because I, I feel like he's a really great talent. I just don't know if he fits my play style. Going to the receiving end. Now, Chris Chambers did get hurt at one point for a while. So, you know, that's going to say a lot here uh, in the stats. But Lloyd was definitely our go-to guy. You know, you saw in, that, in this video, he went hard. Almost a 1,000 yards. Obviously, I want to improve in the passing game. Um, but, I mean, really was able to make those big plays. Eight touchdowns. We, th we threw to him a ton. But look at that. We still threw to Chris Chambers a ton as well. The drops, eh, Chris Chambers kind of let me down with the drops too. You know, I was hoping he would make bigger catches, but look at these, the yards after catch are mm, super impressive. But yeah, there's our receiving. Um, who else is down here? So we got LT, we got him involved. Winslow did really well. He's third on my list, honestly, and he's the tight end. Um, and then here's these other guys. They, they did all right. Darling, I think uh, Jericho over here, he did... Uh, he did okay. He came through there, here and there, but defense: Keith Brookings, Brian Dawkins, Levar Arrington, uh, Tony Parrish. Here's your leaders in, in tackles, uh, leaders in assistance. Who got the most sacks here? Okay, I think this was us. Uh, we're playing a lot of defensive end. I'm still looking at getting a defensive end. I think that's a position I really want to work on. Is our defensive line? Um, let's see. Pass. Oh, interceptions. Will Allen, somebody we brought in. Five interceptions. Let's go. Um, followed by the rookie, Carroll, who had four. And then our linebacker. All of our linebackers were able to get the ball. So they were good there. Let's see what else we got here. Defensive touchdowns. Nobody had more than one. Will Allen, LeVar Arrington, and Ralph Brown. Um, what else we got here? Tackles for loss. Might as well. Brooking. There we go. Okay. I'm liking this. Liking that. Force fumbles. Brooking. So we're going to definitely keep working around. Um, here's fumbles. Did we have anybody block a field goal? Nope. Okay. Kicking. Rackers. You did a good job. Uh, 19 out of 27. 70%. Longest was a 51 yarder. And there's your kicking stats. Punting. Here's your punt stats here as well. And uh, let's see. Special teams. Still going to look for a special teams player. And that's it. Just wanted to go over these details with you guys. Thank you guys so much for supporting this series. Expect more. Um, and uh, we still got the playoffs. So until we get through with the playoffs, um, that's when we'll focus on uh, a season two and what we want to do moving forward with this series. So thank you guys yet again um, for supporting the channel, supporting the content. And hope you guys are doing well. I hope your NFL teams are doing well as well. I'm about to go watch my Patriots play, hopefully. And, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace. Wonder Soul. Wonder Soul. Wonder Soul. Wonder Soul. Wonder Soul.